Are your kids struggling with fractions or decimals, specifically when it comes to division? Let's handle that right now. Let's learn how to divide a whole number by a decimal number. So in this case, the denominator is a decimal. So we want to multiply whatever we need to to make this thing a whole number. Let me show you. So if I were to take the number 4 divided by 1.2 and write it as a long division problem, the 4 goes in the box and the 1.2 is outside. Well, I don't know my 1.2 times tables. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 4 over 1.2 and I'm going to divide it by whatever I need to to make this a whole number. So I'm, if I multiply it by 10, do you see how the decimal point gets pushed here and that becomes a 12? So I'm going to multiply the original fraction by a clever form of 1, which is 10 over 10. Okay, And this does not change the problem when you multiply a number by 1. You can do that all day and nobody cares. <laughs> so we have 4 times 10, which is 40. The bottom is 1.2 times 10, which means that decimal point goes one hop to the right. So now that is a 12. And this is a problem I know how to do. So let's go ahead and do it. So we'll rewrite our division problem. So it's going to be 40 over 12, which looks like 12 on the outside, 40 on the inside. 12 goes into 40 three times. 3 times 12 is 36. The difference is 4. I have a decimal point here. Let's push it up. And I have as many zeros as I'd like. Okay, and I'll drop that zero. 12 goes into 40 again three times. And we take the difference and wind up with another 4. Are you seeing a pattern here? <laughs> yeah, so this is going to continue. So what I can say is... 40 over 12 is equal to 3.3 bar. Bar just means it repeats. And that is actually also the answer to the problem of 4 over 1.2. And that's how we divide a whole number by a fraction. Now, by the way, if you'd like to learn more about doing fractions and decimals the easy way, I'm actually giving a whole class on it for free. So you can click on the link in the description or in the comments to register. You simply go to getmath.net slash fractions. Okay, let's continue. 56 divided by 0 0.5. Okay, so how do I do that problem? I'm going to multiply by whatever I need to to get the decimal point out of this number. So that's going to be 10. And then whatever I multiply the bottom by, I got to do the same to the top. So now I have 560 over, and this becomes a 5. So 5 goes into 560. 5 goes into 5 once, and there's nothing left. Bring down the 6. 5 goes into 6 once. Okay. We have a difference of 1. Drop the 10. 5 goes into 10 twice. So my answer is 112, okay, because this is even. There's nothing left over. Okay. So my original problem, 56 over 0 0.5, is equal to 112. Okay. So don't forget, you just need to make the denominator a whole number in order to do this problem easily. Okay, let's try one where we have to multiply by something other than 10 over 10. Suppose I have 126 divided by 0 0.06. Okay, so in this case, we're going to need to multiply by 100 to turn that 0 0.06 into a whole number. So multiply by 100 over 100. Okay, and then on the top, I'm going to have 1, 2, 6, 0, 0. On the bottom, I'm going to have... 6. Okay, so 6 goes into 1, 2, 6, 0, 0. 6 go, doesn't go into 1, but it goes into 12 two times, and it goes in evenly. There's no leftover. Drop the 6. 6 goes into 6 one time, and there's nothing left over, and these are just zeros. So the answer to 126 divided by 0 0.06 is 2,100. So notice you have to first multiply this out so it becomes a whole number. Whatever you multiply on the bottom, make sure you do on the top. And then just do your regular long division to get your final answer. Now, if your kids have been frustrated with fractions, struggling to learn decimals, 
and you'd like your kids to learn it the easy way, I invite you to join me for a free class on decimals and fractions that I'm giving. You can register at no charge just by clicking the link below in the descriptions or in the comments, or simply go to getmath.net slash fractions.